Hello everybody and welcome to the World Cup first round match between Torre 3005 and the True Blue. Uh, the True Blue with the Norse has won the kick and chose to receive uh, Torre 3005 with the Chaos Dwarves. Uh, the True Blue is has a 54% win rate in Champs Ladder, hasn't played many games. Um, and he is actually the Red Bull qualifier, so the, the Reddit Blood Bowl League Rookie League. So, uh, they, they were they got a ticket from Sinai, so very very nice to have a kind of you know maybe a Cinderella story there, so a kind of new player qualifying. Um, Torre three is that Torre three thousand five must just play in private leagues because he's not played. Oh, maybe he's an Xbox. I think he's PS four. MML anyway is the league. Um, they I'm, I get all my stats from Extra Arms Bot, which doesn't doesn't have Xbox, so if he's an Xbox guy there won't be any stats. Um, I'm not sure if MML is Xbox or PS4. So, sorry. Foul getting rowdy, doesn't have any bribes. Um, I don't really like fouling, I'm a 9, thick school players, but fair enough. So the true blue has gone dodge. Tackle mighty blow and block. I didn't really like Norse for this. Just, you know, getting so few skills. I mean, I know they've already got block, but they're really starved for guard. And he hasn't got any guard. So, I think my four skills would have been guard, 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 guard. <laughs> to start with. If I'd been forced at gunpoint to use Norse. <laughs> um, nice KO from the 9 over there. And... Torrey 3005, he's got a Garda, he's got a Block Bull, and a Break Tackle Show Hands. I think that's okay because Strength 4 Show Hands makes it really difficult for Woodies to get the ball off you if you can pick it up three times on the ball. So, yeah, I think I quite like the, the team building skills. The problem that he has is he hasn't got any reserves, has he? Um, two reserves for True Blue, but none for. Torre 3005, so yeah, maybe that's a weakness. Only having two rerolls and no no reserves at all. But you can spend a double to get Claw on the Mino and uh, and then have a chance against like Orcs and stuff. And he's got loads of tackle against Elves and that, so maybe it's not such a terrible idea. But uh, I didn't really like the look of Chorfs for this. So moving. Moving to the side, I don't really like these deep. Well, this this is okay. It's not too deep. Of course, he's got to watch out for the bulls. So it's tough to play against the bulls because you don't have to cage if you don't have to. <laughs> but then with these being kind of movement nine when they want to be, you've got to watch out for them. players would have frenzy trapped themselves with the elf, but he didn't do that. That's good. Might, might hit the mine over here, might, it could. Three, four, five, six, yeah. See, I don't like the mighty blow. Oh, only one dice in it. Oh, because of the frenzy, yeah. Frenzy being a bad thing there. You could have still had him here and then him there. Wow, Apple in it. Aggressive Apple. I mean, it is his star player, if you like. Mighty Blow Tackle. I would have preferred Mighty Blow Piling on. Just the fact they've got Jump Up and Block Frenzy. Block Frenzy is going to be usually enough to get them the knockdowns. <laughs> but yeah, I think the play was to uh, make it... Yeah, you just need to move him. Then it was two dice into two dice. I mean, he was doing a one dice into a two dice, but it was a bit greedy. Because he could have just moved that guy and it would have been two and a two, so... Could have just been a mistake. It was either greedy or a mistake. One of the two. I could see somebody being greedy and just going for one dice into two dice. So yeah, 
know, the dry is pretty much collapsing for the nice here, isn't it? Good old, good old stupid minor. Or minnow, I guess, if you're American. Minotaur. <laughs> but um, English people say minotaur. <laughs> Lying in the darkness to one dice, so that's desperation stakes, isn't it, really? No heat on the ball, at least. All the one Ds. North Sam is actually breaking, isn't it? Those two stuns in the KO. Yeah, that, North's are pretty good if, if the armor never breaks, but... Um, if the armor breaks a bit, I really, I really hate Nos. <laughs> I really, really hate Nos because the only way they work is if their armor doesn't break. You know, like they're a bashy team that has armor seven. So literally, if their armor seven breaks, they're just a bashy team with less men, which is rubbish. Whereas, so like they're kind of alright against el wood elves and stuff because they're faster than dwarves. Obviously, having all the block, that's why I compare them to dwarves. But, um, yeah, they're just a bit. They're really weird because, like, stuff like Skaven and wood elves are ridiculous if they don't get removals, you know, movement and everything. And if they do get people removed, they can still run around and do stuff. Whereas Norse are just entirely reliant on not not have, not suffering removals, and when you're an Armour Seven Bash team, it just seems bad. To me. I can never get behind them. Every every time I've ever lost them, I just feel like what a stupid game because their their, their strategy just shouldn't work. <laughs> well, every time I lose with a Bash team, anyway. But I mean, I guess yeah, they've got a little bit of a niche in beating up, uh, beating up elves. Oh, I don't like that. I think I'll try to free him up and get him around. Cause this is looking a bit dodgy, isn't it? With the ball is getting forward as well. Turn five. Yeah, this is the thing, two players down now. That's, that's the place to play, isn't it? Well, I could have gone here for a bit safer. But there's, there's so much value in this guy. Yeah. Bracket him and blitz him. It's probably what most people would have done. like pursuing in the backfield with a bull because I mean it's okay if you've got one one in the backfield and one pressuring. But then people can kind of out run, run away from you if they can't they? But... And he's had a roll loads of dodges to be fair if he fails one he can't you can't really complain, I mean it's probably just his team isn't as good, isn't it? I mean, he hasn't really done anything wrong. Maybe that, the, maybe the one dice blitz on the uh, minor was bad. But now it's going to be two dice on the ball with tackle. Sure hands ball ready to pick it up. I don't like making basically irrelevant blocks first. Another one. <laughs> I guess this let, lets him hit from a different angle, which is okay. Here, so it stays in. Mm. I think I want to put it there just so that 
got you know he's got the three plus dodge out here hasn't he because if you go there he can only three plus dodge out behind I guess you have a chance of uh, getting in the tackle zone of the opponent going to here which is why you went there and he gets the recovery for his pick up but still he's got two turns left it's more likely to be a short score than a north score Perfect scatter for him, so we can't get the Ulf Werner. The Ulf Werner could have uh, dodged out in a 4 plus, it works sometimes, and then could have tried to surf him, but with, uh, with a ball going there, he doesn't even get a chance. That was a nice move to get 2D on the, on the minor and free, free up two people. Kaz. Oh, he's got the apple. <laughs> so he's only got 11 people, but he's got an apple, and the minor's gone. Wow, and two players freed up. That was a very nice move. Yeah, so goes for that first, so that he can dodge with dodge to get away with him. Of course, with having no rerolls, there was certainly an argument for safe moves first. But he's making all the three pluses in the world. Wow, a little bit lucky to get away with that. I think I would have been tempted just to stand him up and then go for the pass next turn if, if I can. But a great turn there. <laughs> I think I would have liked to have gone four with this guy and then this guy go in front of him. But okay, he's blitzing one and, and bracketing the other. But I think I'd have just based them and then gone for the ball, because there was a vague chance of him, uh, uh, not much chance of him scoring anymore. We well, could have made that block first, so on a power. Oh, he's chin forward. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> well, in that case, that's. That's, that's really good, isn't it? This is the first thing in the morning for me, so I may not be at my sharpest. Plus, they've they've got three minutes to think about their moves. But uh, yeah, that was a nice little chain, wasn't it? The block, very good, very good. So he's got the uh, he's got the hobgoblin scoring threat. It might be worth just dodging out the blitzer. Might have been the play because it's really hard to get a score of his own. But you tell me there's a chance. Well, uh, oh man, what a sick touchdown this will be! If only he'd saved a reroll, eh? He might have scored it. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. So, um. Break tackle blitz, maybe? And then pick up the bull to hand it off or pass it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he can't. He can't hand it off. I think I'd have maybe break tackled with a ball, and then he would have gone for the pass. I don't know what his plan is to get the ball now. I'll just do a long pass. Yeah, he could, have, he could have picked up with the other, he could have blitzed with him, and then gone for the pass with him, and it would have only been a 4 plus pass. Okay, oh, the intercept was a, was a double one. And the pass was a one. <laughs> but yeah, that would have been the better play, wouldn't it? Break tackle a blitz and then this guy could have run nine to like here or something. I did a four plus pass. So the Norse are getting somewhat outbashed, but not really because they've got two reserves. So why are they they're missing more men? Because they got thirteen, they still got eleven. And the Chaucer are down at ten without the strength five guys, so Pretty tricky for the Chaucer, even though they defended the drive. Class 
classic offset LOS there. <laughs> I'll never I'll never fail to chuckle at offset LOSs now after this World Cup. I mean it, it's fair it's it's a fair tactic, you know, even for a bash team it makes it a big a bigger commitment to get the diagonal box. And he has defended against the blitz a bit. Rather than maximizing the enemy's powers. So it kind of worked. I like not making GFRs as balls unless you have to. Some people, some people treat them as movement nine every turn, but he's just going to go six and then pick it up and then move forward. Because even though they've got sure feet. It's not hard to roll a double one. <laughs> nice removal, evens the numbers. have them as movement six and then if you have to if you absolutely have to if you oh, <laughs> didn't know that, no. no I don't like it. what does that what does that GFI even achieve you know at least this one maybe stopped him getting blitzed but this one yeah I don't like that <laughs> I thought he wasn't gonna because he would have been screaming Yeah, the, the dangerous spot, isn't it here? Because he can get, he can get pinned against the sideline. But not if he rolls a double one. Maybe he could have made some more safe moves first. Even if he was planning to run through here, he could have maybe moved some of the others. So a full cage now, and a strength four. Break tackle, <laughs> kind of movement nine ball carrier. It's that's a bit grim. I mean, he does have Dauntless, doesn't he? he? Has he has Dauntless on the runners? And he's got Dauntless there, a Dauntless there. So he's got he's got a better chance than most strength three teams would have against a full sentinel carrier. And again, probably should just move that guy first. No, but you know, this is the sort of thing. This is, you know, this proves that everyone says do safe moves first and all this. Um, you know, it's in all the basic blood ball guides. Yet here we are, the World Cup, and you know, not just these two, loads of people, uh, probably myself included. You know, you just do things like two dice blocks with a reroll available. I mean, probably wouldn't want to reroll that in a double score actually. But you know, plenty of people in the World Cup are making. Rock dice rolls without making all the seconds first. But loads of people, and it, it's it's really easily done, you know. I don't like this foul, but fa a, a stunned armor nine, thick school player. Not the not the guy to foul there. No no bribe. Yeah, I really don't like that foul. I mean, maybe he's getting desperate and he thinks he needs to remove him to win. I mean, it is rolling the dice, isn't it? It is... Fouling in Blood Bowl is basically the definition of Yahtzee. You know, just... And, and you know, sometimes that's the right... That's the right call, isn't it? If you're, if you're playing heads up against Phil Ivey, your best bet is probably to just go all in all the time and uh, hope you get lucky because you ain't going to all play him, so... I can see the the desperation fouls is a valid tactic. But it's just not good odds, is it? You could yeah, you could chain this guy here and then get a hit on the ball. 
And it, it would be a one die to the darkness. I wonder if that's what he's going for. He could have pushed him to here, couldn't he? And then this guy could have... This guy could have gone around there, maybe. I think he could have got... If he pushed him there, I think he could have got one die. That's amazing or anything. I didn't block with his off. Or maybe he stood him up. Oh, I nearly got his name wrong there when I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, basing the ball isn't bad. Hey, oh, well. Hmm. <laughs> Here's the thing. Basing the ball. It's a, it's a, it's a thing, isn't it? Um, you know, a lot of a lot of online guides and stuff say basing the ball is good, but it's not just generically good. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's irrelevant. Basically. Yes, you dictate where they blitz, but he's getting to blitz your mighty bow tackle guy, who he probably wants to blitz anyway. So it's not it's not as good then, is it? Could one dice into a two dice and then get an assist and two dice the ball here. Wouldn't be wouldn't be too crazy. And definitely one dice now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G F L. Oh he had another one, I didn't say. Oh and he double scored the one dice in the ball. Wow. Well, that's unlucky, isn't it? I mean you know, one dice is aren't the aren't the safest thing in the world. But you know, maybe he could have done something different. He could have ran him around there and him there and then one dice him to push him into him and then get two dice in the ball or something, but whatever it is, you know, it was it was a decent attempt. I think the North are definitely feeling desperate at the moment, even though they probably shouldn't feel that desperate. It's still ten men versus ten. And you know the chops are down the minor, so I think maybe the Norse are feeling a little bit more desperate than they should be feeling. Turn thirteen, only three turns left, and really the Norse are running out of play because he's got he's kind of over pursued. He's, these three guys, I think, should maybe get round to the side of the ball and try to stop him scoring. Might be his best chance because he's he's like you know a bit piecemeal, isn't he? So yeah, he does run around, get them on the right side of the ball. Again, you know this guy isn't blitzing. Oh, it's an uphill because the guard. Oh, he gets the pow. <laughs> And gets a Kaz. Oh my god. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh man. If I was the chaff guy, I'd be losing it. Wow. Wow, that's brutal. That's really brutal. He's just not hitting here, is he? I mean, I think I'll go for these two nice blocks. He could have pushed him to here, and then he could have pushed him to there, and then he'd have, then he would have had, not been able to stand up. And then he could have kind of done something this off to to get a wolf stranded on a chalk blocker is not ideal. Oh, I was wondering what the symbol was for dwarves there. It's, I quite like this kit and symbol that the, the chaos dwarves have. Up with this hobgoblin, and he's got to get him. It's basically one over the line for no GFIs. Bit of a potato. I mean, he could have stayed here and then just done two GFIs to score. Um, that may have been safer. 
and just running out unprotected. But then this way, if he doesn't get knocked over, he, c he can score, can't he? So you have 2db to free up the, free up the Berserker. For one dice on the ball. He's actually the Norse are in the ascendancy now, aren't they? If he, if he can stop this touchdown, he'll have a big he'll have a big advantage in overtime. Um, because you'd imagine some of the chaos will come back, and he's cast the ball and the minor. Finally hits here. Yeah, he could have been doing that a few turns before. And then maybe if he had, and he had the blocker on the uh, on the sideline, he could have tagged this this blocker, who is probably going to save the day right now. I know he's got the he's got hold as well. Either could do it, running for the assist. I'll both do it. I would have preferred the blitz with the ball carrier, and then he wouldn't have had a dodge if he gets a power. Wave. That would have been the thing if you get the power. I mean, obviously, you'd need the power, but this way, you need the dodge anyway. So. Next, the dodge is 66%, and the power is 55, so. Maybe his way was just better? Maybe his way was just better than mine, yeah. But the, uh, the natural thing, I think, would to do the blitz to, to get free. Because if you push him, you can just dodge as well, can't you? That's the thing. Yeah, if you get the push, you can just still dodge afterwards. So it's maybe maybe better to advance. because fifty-five percent of the time he wouldn't have had to dodge. The problem is he would have then had, uh, you know, I mean, if he didn't get the power here, he'd still be in the same problem of having him able to blitz him down. So another one dice on the ball. No, it feels the GFI. So there you go. That was, a, that was an ending, wasn't it? Um, maybe, maybe the true blue should have, could have conserved his re rolls better. And maybe, maybe he played a little bit panicky. It kind of feels like you'd go for too many one Ds in the ball. And, uh, you know, it's always an option. It's not always an option you have to go for, is it? You know, especially once he cast the ball. I mean, but then he cast the ball going for an uphill hit on the ball. <laughs> so had he played safe, he would have never made that cast. Um, but yeah, I didn't think he was in that bad a shape. He had the man advantage. Maybe if he'd taken, you know, an, an, a more cautious um, route on defense, maybe it would have paid off more. But you know, who knows? At the end of the day, he did quite well. Um, I think probably Toro 3000 did fair and 5 did play better but um, you know there was no really crazy well it was a bit crazy getting the uphill, uphill block into the pal and the Kaz and the Kaz and the minor so but apart from that I mean that's just that's just Kaz dice isn't it they're always going to be a bit a bit crazy but there was nothing nothing too crazy about the game really just You know, maybe he's, you know, he's done well. He's definitely acquitted himself well. He hasn't, he hasn't embarrassed himself whatsoever. Uh, the true blue, so it's a fair play to him for that. I think he had to go there. I don't know what he's doing here because it's it's really hard to score from himself. And he did, he does have frenzy, but I don't think this is really doing anything. I don't even like Frenzy that much when it comes to one turns. It's essentially if they have a split LOS against Moon and Six, but overall I'm not that much of a fan of Frenzy. It's not even. This isn't even anything. Takes the skull. <laughs> Why not? MVP for the Minor for getting 
getting cast early. So yeah, not, not a bad game there, not bad. Um, so congrats to Tori3005 and, uh, and yeah, commiserations to Trubu, but did fine. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.